Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to NTV Team Action News. I'm Nolan Weiss. And I'm Jeffrey Jorgensen. It is January 14th, 2013. 2013? Finally got used to that, Jeff. I know. I don't have to say 2012 anymore. It's logged into the noggin, writing it down on the timesheets. And we have to say, Jeff and I, this last weekend, went snowboarding up at Crystal, and it was an awesome time, starting off the new year just right. Beautiful situations up at uh, Crystal Mountain with the Johnson brothers and Jeff and I staying at that cool cabin. Gorgeous views from the top of Crystal's gondola. If you haven't been up there, be sure to go and check it out. The gondola is amazing. They're gonna be open until the 4th of July. They usually are now with the gondola running, and it is just phenomenal up there, and we couldn't had we couldn't ask for any better weather. It could have been a little bit warmer. It was about yeah. zero the entire time, and it was cold oh, it was walking freezing, around. But, but you got used to it when you were riding, and the powder was perfect. But unfortunately, we would watch the Seahawks game and Falcons up at Crystal, and they lost. Gosh, yeah. what a disappointing game that was. It was definitely kept me on the edge of my seat the entire time at halftime. What are you talking about? I the first must, quarter was I'm, terrible. I must say, I wasn't, even, was terrible. I wasn't even sweating. I wasn't even sweating by halftime because we you were doing anything. I was drawing pictures on an edge of sketch. <laughs> but like, at the same time, I knew that we weren't going to have an issue on the first half. The second half, Seahawks always seemed to step it up, which we did. There were some bad calls made by the referees, but yep. you know we're always used to that. We're Seahawks fans, and we're used to the refs giving us a little bit of bad calls. Well, and unfortunately, we're loose, used to losing, too. Our uh, Seattle teams have never brought home a championship, except for the Supersonics back in the 70s. And I thought this was going to be the year the Seahawks bringing a Super Bowl to Seattle, had such a great team and such a great run. But uh, some calls that were bad, that halftime, right before halftime, they hiked that ball with one second left and third in the end zone, should have counted. And Pete Carroll should have kicked the field goal the first time that we got down to the red zone. And Pete Carroll also shouldn't have called a timeout with that last kickoff in the Falcons to win it with that field goal. But what can you do? I mean, that you kicker know, was that, already iced. Yeah, the but, game was on the line. The kicker already I had the butterflies, the, and then the, gave him a little break. The kicker got to any any other coach in the NFL would have done the exact same thing. I don't thing. think so. If they had, college, if they had two timeouts mistake. left, they would have done the exact same thing. That's not a college mistake. I think it's a bad. I think it's a bad call these days. Though. I don't. It, it could be a bad call these days, but there's not another coach in the league that. I wouldn't have made that same call. I, I think guarantee so. it. I that's, guarantee that's it. something that they did two years ago to try to ice that kicker, and it's not working anymore. I don't know about gives that. Gives that kicker I mean, another option. Yeah, but to, it gives the it gives it gives the defense right. it gives the defense an option to see exactly what they're doing, whether or not they're going to kick it, or if it's going to be fake and they're going to run it. Here, I oh, mean, it's just when the game's on the line, you ain't you're not going to be faking that. I don't know, but it seems like the Seahawks fans have been very optimistic on this past season, and. Uh, I mean, that's a good sign. Yeah. So I Next mean, year, they'll be good. Yeah, Next and year they'll the be whole really team good. has been the same way. Russell Wilson tweeted last night, he could not believe the fan base that showed up at the airport, the 12th man support, and he loves it. And he said he couldn't – he tweeted that he couldn't have chosen another – or a better team to come to. Very before. cool. Yep, can't wait to see him next year. And maybe Matt Flynn might get some uh... – some snaps. Yeah, yeah if you're lucky, why don't you put him? You should put him on your uh, fantasy football league. I don't do fantasy football. I have a life. Yeah. If you don't You'd have a life, horrible. check out our Facebook league. because our new news is and all of our great clips from our great NTV is on YouTube and Facebook. And you can check out all these great clips and share them with a friend and let those friends that don't really do much either watch us on NTV Team Action News on YouTube. Or if you, even if you do have a life. Well, you do have a life. You know, it was, it was a joke. It could liven your life. Oh, well, YouTube, all I've been Facebook. hearing is the, the news just keeps getting better, so please share it with a friend. You can also subscribe to us on YouTube and then follow us on Twitter and then like us on Facebook. Oh yeah, so anyways, great communication keeping you in the loop of the Upper Kittitas and Lower Kittitas County. Due to Roslyn City ordinances and Cleveland City ordinances, the cities are asking you guys not to park alongside the streets on commercial parking lots. We've been reminding you each week, please, downtown Roslyn and Cleveland, do not park in the on the highway. Um, overnight and also if you're removing that snow do not throw it on the highway because you could be fined or you can cause an accident on the highway and for all you snow machine users out there drivers or snowshoers or hikers or snowboarders be sure to share the trail as always and it's very important to all you automotive drivers out there 
be kind to uh, this yeah. weather. Yeah, you know? and especially this around. ice. Yes. With it being so cold out right now, there is some black ice around, and I already put my dent, in my, my first dent in my truck because of the ice. So please be careful. Give yourself some space in between cars and people because ice is really dangerous. Even when you have studs on, you can't stop. 2013 is a perfect time to advertise with us here at NTV and Inland Network. So give us a call. We'll set you up with some prices and you can become a local sponsor of our news. And even a local celebrity. Ben Flowers from Wilderness Ridge Tree Service is a household name because of NTV and all the great marketing that NTV comes along when you advertise with us. Word of mouth, Jeff and I have big mouths and uh, we get the word out there with your business. The I have a dream dinner, dream. the annual, third annual, I believe. I have yep. a dream dinner put on by kids for the kids and Don Bass is going to be held on the 21st of this month. Cannot wait. This is coming up next week. Make sure to get your tickets and make sure to attend this event. And this money goes to the kids and the community builders of the Upper Kittitas County, which is very important. The future of our community is our kids. So please get a ticket and go to this event. Big fundraisers going around that very weekend. The following day is going to be the Relay for Life kickoff party. And this is going to be at the Masonic Hall in Roslyn, downtown yep. Roslyn, next to PO si Building. Signing up those teams for all the great events coming up. Paint the Town Purple, the Walk Around the Track, all the great things Relay for Life is doing for Cancer Research of America for our little Upper Kittitas County. They raise so much money, so please get your teams or become a volunteer for Relay for Life. Dave Chase, alongside of other Ronald citizens, have been doing their best to keep these elk in our area for all of us to view. Yep, they've been doing this over the years, getting all that hay out and helping these elk. Beautiful creatures that we get to sit back and watch these beautiful creatures eat in Ronald. So make sure to go down there. Don't spook them. Don't run up to them. Don't shoot them. Then yeah, Don't shoot them. That's no hunting right there. <laughs> and uh, respect the animals, but please just enjoy the beauty of them. The times, they are a changing, and they are changing they are. for the movie world and the Roslyn Theater as well. This is very cool. They're going from analog to digital. The Roslyn Theater is looking for your help. They need to raise $50,000 by the end of 2013 to get a new digital projector. Right now, they have the reels, and those are going out of style. They only have 10 for each movie that are, is coming out. So they are definitely getting rid of the old reels and moving to uh, hard drive. So please help out. They have a account at Sterling Savings, the Roslyn Theater, a focal point of Roslyn, definitely needs your help. And Tyrannosaurus Grace is doing a fundraiser benefit concert that's gonna be held at the break to support this. And yep, raise some money. all of the local support that we can get would be greatly appreciated. Lynn's doing great things. And then this is good for our community. Not only are we gonna keep the Roslyn Theater around if this money's raised, but we're also gonna get movies quicker yep. and advertising. And, and, and other interview. movies yes. too, yeah. Advertising, other movies, older movies possibly. And like Jeff was saying, T Grace will be rocking out at the brick, raising money February 16th. So get out there and help raise some money for this great thing of Roslyn we have, the Roslyn Theater. The Vision of Clay is going to be meeting at the Timber Lodge this upcoming Thursday at 5.30, so be sure to go out there and show your support and find out what they're doing for our great city. Love the Vision of Clay Elm. All they do is great things, and I cannot wait to see Carrie Farnham in the weeks to come and see what great events are coming up with the Vision of Clay Elm. And now moving on to Warrior Sports. First off, the boys and girls versus Mapton on the 11th. This was this past Friday. The boys won a 52 to 38 win overall, and the girls lost 47 to 58. That was a non-league game, but then going into league the next day, the boys played Highland and lost, unfortunately, 45-43 only by two points. And the girls won 55-24, demolishing the Highland Scotties. Great job, girls. The boys are six and seven in league, and the girls are four and nine. Next, next home match is on the 25th versus Zilla. They're also gonna be facing Goldendale on the 18th and LaSalle on the 19th. All wrestling matches are away for the rest of the season, so good luck to the wrestlers. They will be wrapping up in January, then districts, then to state, and we'll definitely have some results on the districts, and then who's going to state. And that concludes Warrior Sports. Great things that are coming up. You can have some fun in the snow. The annual snowmobile raffle run put on by the Rotary is coming up February 2nd at the last resort. Registration starts at 9 a.m. and grand prize, Jeff, $1,000 Visa card. I could use that. You could. This is, and second and third, also big cash prizes. 
For more info, give uh, the Rotary a call, 509-304-4651, or email them at ukcrotary at gmail.com. Inland Network's very own Inland Warriors are going to be heading down to Yakima for the next upcoming weeks to take on some Yakintonians for AAU boys basketball. Can't wait. And this Thursday at 7 p.m., you can be introduced to the boys of the Inland Warriors team. Just check us out at 7 p.m. on our weekly news. Community Blood Drive is coming up on this Thursday, the 17th, so be, out, be sure to go out there and donate some blood. We are in an all-time shortage worldwide for blood. Jeff never gives blood. I do. He has I bad should... blood. Oh, do I? He has do I? Oh, I don't anymore. What, I kind, of type, what kind of type blood do you have, Jeff? Let, let's find out. What kind of type do you have, Nolan? I don't know. AB positive. Are you 100% sure on that? Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm actually in good you don't blood. Do you don't donate blood, so how would you know? I don't know, but it, blood, blood drives are important. Centennial Center does an awesome job, and please, the 17th, they do need blood with um, these tragic, um, horrific accidents have been going on all around the world, and Jeff's still looking for oh, his right blood. Oh, right there, right there. I'm a donor. I'm oh, a look donor. at your punch card. Oh, yeah, I'm A positive. A positive. A positive. That's cool. Oh, yes. Uh, Inland Networks wants to thank you to our sponsors and to our viewers each week tuning in and also our sponsors for making NTV what it is today, helping us out. And if you want to become a sponsor, give us a call at 6-9-39-40 and we'd love to get your event on our news station. Maccabees has brought the Southwest to the Northwest at their 5,000 square foot store. We have an extensive inventory of decorations, books, internationally made piggy banks, Terra Verde candles, clothing from Cactus Bay Apparel, leather and faux leather purses from Bandana and Montana West, personal items such as soaps and lotions from Camille Beckman, European soaps, goat's milk, and native touch. Also try our decadent homemade fudge, yum. We are located at the east end of Cleelum on Airport Road. Take the beautiful drive to the Last Resort Restaurant and get away to the Alpine Lakes at Lake Cleelum. Here you will find a splendid place to dine with the best salad bar around and great homemade soup. Don't forget Don's special prime rib every Friday and Saturday. While you're here, come check out Motorfist Snow Gear and Snowmobile Rentals. So take the short drive to the Last Resort and come share a home-cooked dinner with us. Come in and explore Ruby's scrapbooking and things. Let your mind run free with all that you see. With papers and stencils and ribbons galore. Stamping and knitting, scrapbooking and more. For printing, crocheting, it's fun to create. Discover all there is to choose and make a date. Visit Ruby's scrapbooking and things. 110 East 1st Street in Clallam. Where you create memories for yourself, family and friends. And we want to wrap up tonight's episode by wishing one person a happy birthday. Lauren Sandreski, Big Low, happy birthday. But also, we don't want to wrap up the news yet because the third annual Civic Social is coming up. The Rotary is putting this on, and this is very important. Getting everybody together, all the civic and community-oriented groups come together for a dinner and social, and this is going on January 29th, the end of the month, at five, from 5.30 to 8 o'clock at the Masonic Hall in Roslyn. That's by the Post Office Building. Very important thing right here, bringing everybody together and knowing what's going to go on in 2013 and reflect on 2012. Thank you guys for tuning in for tonight's episode. It is January 14th. I'm Nolan, I'm Nolan Weiss. I'm Jeffrey Jorgensen. Couple local boys shooting some local news. <laughs>